National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is recommending that every child be buckled in with a three-point seat belt for their entire school bus ride. WSLS 10's Bethany Teague talked to local school leaders today and shares their support, but also their concerns about the mandate. A lot of local school leaders say they believe in theory that a seatbelt mandate on school buses could be a good idea, but there are still many questions that need to be asked. For example, how much would a change like this cost? Some administrators say this would cut down on the number of kids one bus could carry, therefore creating the need for more buses or longer routes. Others are concerned about how kids would get out of their seatbelts in case of a fire or other emergency. While many leaders say they would support it, they say they would have to get state or federal help to make it happen. I have some concerns uh, about what what it would how it would affect our budget, uh, what we would need to do to to pay for the seat belts or even to have to to purchase new buses. Some school leaders I spoke with today say they hope this decision will be left up to each individual school district to do what they believe is best for their kids. In Pulaski, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10.